Teresa Ferraro, and I'm a park guide at Chiricahua National Monument. And I've been at Chiricahua for four years, and I've been down here with the Southeast Arizona group for about four and a half years. And as a part of Appreciate AZ, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about wildlife etiquette. We want to be mindful when we do encounter wildlife and we want to keep our distance. If you see wildlife, it's very exciting. It's like you want to have that experience. You want to have that experience with your children, but you have to remember that this is their habitat. This is their home and we want them to continue doing their all their natural things. And so it's good to keep at least 25 yards between you and a species of, you know, that could be that could be deer and that that just like let them do their thing. Now we do have mountain lions here, we do have bobcats here, we do have the bear here. Let's keep a hundred yards, let's be really safe and let's just watch them. Use your cameras, use your binoculars and just stand and enjoy the wildlife that's here but don't approach that wildlife and we never touch or feed wildlife. We keep an exceptionally clean campground put your food in your car at night, even if you're there during the daytime, never leave anything out on the table. Wildlife, all the species have an exceptional sense of smell. They'll know the food's there. We don't wanna get any of the animals habituated where we then have a problem where whether it's a quadamundi, whether it's a skunk or a bear coming into your campground and having a human interaction. One of the things that we have to remember is wildlife uses the road as a corridor and our speed limits are very slow. Please obey that speed limit so we don't have um, a collision with some of the animals and it provides the opportunity of spotting the animals while you're driving up the road. So it's another opportunity for you while keeping the animals safe. Um, we get a lot of birders and uh, you might be walking down the trail and you're thinking, what's, I, I can't find it in a tree and you might be listening and your impulse might be to take out your phone and play uh, a song on your bird app. And if you keep playing that song, it may be very disruptive to the species that's nesting in the area and they're gonna get confused and they're gonna think, is there another individual encroaching on my territory and it may disrupt their nesting ability. So if you need to listen to something, maybe very quickly, quietly, but otherwise I encourage you not to take your phones off and be broadcasting bird songs and podcasts.